Hi there, John Frank here with uh, with Remax and and uh, Walter the Cat and your Friday afternoon public service announcement. It's getting a little darker, a little earlier these days. Mm, to wrap up the year, you know, down you go, cat. We're going to uh, we're going to we're to wrap up or to, to commence fall. We're going to start with a cocktail called the Clover Club, and it is a gin-based cocktail. Uh, so using the uh, using the Gordon's gin here. But it's you know gin, uh, and it's done in a, in, a, in, a, in a sour style. So uh, we're just cooling down our. Uh, hmm, geez, those kind of stuck together. Uh, we're just cooling down our uh, our coupe glass here, and we'll just we'll just crack on with this bad boy, right? So um, so sadly, uh, we've got to do a bit of a. Uh, it calls for a dry shake, and I never know quite what to do with my ice. Uh, so we're going to get another cocktail glass, and we're, uh, we're going to get on with that. All right. So into the into the cocktail shaker it goes. Uh, three quarters an ounce, freshly squeezed lemon juice, um, and we're going to put in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, that's a little guy. Nine, that's another little guy. Ten. Ten raspberries. And we're going to muddle them together with half an ounce of um, simple syrup. So this calls for raspberry syrup. Don't have raspberry syrup. Don't really have a call for it. So we're just going to, we're going to make kind of our own raspberry syrup. Um, like I say, it is in the sour style. So we're, uh, we're going to use a little bit of, of sweetness from the, uh, from the raspberries and of course the sugar syrup that uh, right here. Yeah, so we're gonna mash these together or muddle these together gently because there's gonna be there's gonna be a lot going on here. So just get them started. We don't want to really break them up. Thank you, Grace. Mm. Well, very nice, very raspberry. Um, and an ounce and a half of gin. Do enjoy my gin, and uh, and lastly, the white of one egg. Now, this is not this is not this is not for everybody. So if you're not if you're feeling a little queasy about uh, putting the uh, egg white in, uh, we're using a, a lovely organic uh, an organic uh, free range free range chicken egg here. I'll use that uh, I'll use that yolk for tomorrow. Goodness. John, you must be yoking. No, I do enjoy my eggs for breakfast. Um, so that's all in there. What we'll do is give it a what they call a whip shake. And just just to, to start to create that froth with the uh, with the egg yolk, or rather white. And that's for you know 10, maybe 15 seconds. If you really want to get it frothy, you could just put the little spring in from your Hawthorne strainer, and you can start to see that it, she is, uh, she's really starting to froth up. Ooh, maybe, oh, get, get a little bit all over the place. Right, okay, so let's see that's, oh yeah, if you look at that, all nice and frothy. Then we'll add our, add our uh, ice into this and get it really nice and, oh, that smells lovely. Really nice and frothy. So now that it's all nice and cool, right? We're gonna. Ooh, that looks lovely. We're now we're going to uh, double strain this into our uh, into our popcorn glass. Get all those raspberry seeds and whatnot out. Look at the color on that bad boy. Mm-mm-mm. Well, could have probably used a smaller glass, 
But man, doesn't that look beautiful? Now let's give it a whirl. Oh wow, that is deadly. Man, there's a pile of protein in that with that egg white, but mmm. You can get to spend the evening drinking a few of those. Well, I'm gonna put that in the uh, and attach it to the, the recipe to the video. Ooh. Let me know how this turns out for you. If it's as lovely as the what I'm having here, please let me know. Uh, also, uh, moving forward, always looking for for recipes, fall recipes especially. You know, as we're well, it's, it's technically it's still the summer, but you know, you can start to see. You know, God forbid those trees, those leaves are the leaves are starting to change color. Anyway, so something something seasonal, of course. We're always looking for those. So you all stay safe out there. Have fun, and we'll look forward to seeing you next week. Bye for now.